problem number one two spectators at uh, soccer games c and the moment later where the ball being kicked on the playing field the time period for spectators a is 0.2 second and for spectator b it is 0.12 second sight line from the two spectators to the player kicking the ball meet at angle of 90 degree how far are the spectator a and spectator b from the player c how far are the spectator from each other so let us suppose that this is the player who's playing the game and he a is the spectator uh, which is distance uh, da from player and this is spectator b and the distance between its player and spectator b is db and both are at 90 degree to each other distance between spectator a and b is dab so we have to find da db and dab so let us find a so distance a is uh, not given we have to find and delta t is the time which is equal to 0 0.23 second and velocity of sound in air is constant which is 343 meter per second and we know that distance uh, is equal to vt this is the distance formula here we have da which is equal to v delta t which is equal to 343 multiplied by 0 0.23 if you calculate this you will get 79 meter so this is the distance between player and spectator a b db and delta t is equal to 0 0.12 second velocity is constant 343 second so now we have to use the same equation d equal to vt but here we will write db velocity is 343 multiplied by 0 0.12 if you multiply this you will get 41 meter this is the answer now part c distance between two spectator a and b so we call this distance d a b so this is the player and this is the spectator one this is the spectator two and this is the distance between player and spectator one d a d b and this is the distance which we are going to find so this is the a right angle triangle so we can find d by this equation pythagoras theorem d square equal to d a square plus d b square or d is equal to under root of d a square plus d b square so we will write the value of d a and d b then square these values and solve this so we will get 89 meter so this is the distance between two spectators problem number two what is the bulk modulus of oxygen if 32.0 gram of oxygen occupies 22.4 liter and the speed of sound in oxygen is 317 meter per second so first of all we have to write the data so we have to find bulk modulus b and the mass of oxygen is 32 gram so we have to convert this 32 gram into kilogram which will be 32 times 10 to power minus 3 kilogram volume of the oxygen is 22.4 liter and we know that 1 liter is equal to 0 0.001 meter cube because we have to convert liter into meter cube so 22.4 liter will become 0 0.0224 meter cube 
and the velocity of sound in oxygen is 317 meter per second. We know that the velocity is given by this equation P equal to under root B upon rho. If you square this equation, you will get V square equal to B divided by rho. From this equation, we can find the bulk modulus B which is equal to V square into rho, where rho is the density which is equal to mass divided by volume. Here mass is 32 times 10 to power minus 3 and the volume of the oxygen is 0 0.0224. So, if you solve you will get 1.43 kilogram per meter cube. So, the bulk modulus will be equal to V square which is 317 square into 1.43. If you solve this you will get 1.44 times 10 to power 5 Pascal. Pascal is the unit of bulk modulus. Problem number 3, when the door of the chapel of mausoleum in Hamilton, Scotland is slammed shut, the last echo heard by someone standing just inside the door report, reportedly comes 15 seconds later. If that echo were due to the single reflection of a wall opposite the door, how far from the door is the wall? If instead the wall is 25.7 meter away, how many reflection back and forth occur? So, let us suppose this is the wall and this is the door and here is the listener. So, listener will listen this echo. So, this sound will travel. Uh, uh, in T1 time and come back in T2 time. So, total time is T1 plus T2 which will be 2 times uh, the T1. So, which is 15 second. So, it means that it will take 15 by 2 second uh, to cover this distance D which is between wall and the listener. We can use this equation to find the distance which is equal to V into T v is the velocity which is 343 multiplied by time 15 divided by 2. So, if you calculate you will get 2572.5 meter or approximately 2.6 kilometer. So, this is the answer. Now, part b so, in part B, uh, the wall is 25.7 meter. So, how many reflection we will get? So, this is the wall. This is the listener. So, the distance between the wall and pillar is 25.7 meter and the time is again same 15 second but now we will get more reflection. So, we can write this T is equal to T divided by n plus 1, where n is the number of reflection. We will again use the same equation T equal to V T. So, here time is equal to T upon n plus 1, D is 25.7 velocity is 343 and t is 15 divided by n plus 1. Uh, rearranging this we will get n plus 1 equal to this value which is approximately 200 r n is equal to 200 minus 1 which is 199 which is again approximately 200 are 2 times 10 to power 2. So, we will get 200 reflection. Problem number 6, a man strike one end of a thin rod with a hammer. The speed of sound in rod is 15 times the speed of sound in air. A woman at the other end with her ear close to the rod 
hear the sound of the blow twice with 0.12 second interval between one sound comes through the rod and the other comes through the air alongside the rod if the speed of sound in air is 343 meter per second what's the length of the rod so let l be the length of the rod so this is the rod so l is the length and here is the listener here we strike the hammer so this sound will travel through both sources vr means this is the velocity of rod uh, this is the velocity of sound through rod and vs the velocity of sound through air the time travel for sound wave in air i mean vs is given by ts similarly time travel for sound wave in rod which we write with vr is given by tr therefore ts is equal to l upon vs we will use the you know, distance equation and tr is equal to l upon vr because the length or distance is same but time and velocities are different and the difference between two times is 0.12 second means ts minus tr is equal to 0.1 second r l upon vs minus l upon vr is equal to 0.12 so we can write uh, this equation like this l in bracket 1 upon vs minus 1 upon vr equal to 0.1 second here vs is equal to 343 and vr is equal to 15 times the vs which is 15 multiplied by 343 so uh, vr will be 5145 meter per second so let us solve this equation l in bracket v 1 upon vs minus 1 upon vr equal to 0.12 so l again is equal to so we will replace the value of vs and vr rearranging and solving this value so if you solve you will get 44 meter so this is the length of rod problem number 11 a diagnostic ultrasound of frequency 4.5 megahertz is used to examine tumor in soft tissue what is the wavelength in air of such a sound wave b if the speed of sound in tissue is 1500 meter per second what is the wavelength of this wave in the in tissue here f is 4.5 megahertz so we have to convert into si 4.5 times 10 to power 6 hertz because 1 mega is equal to 10 to power 6 wavelength we have to find and velocity of sound in air is 343 meter per second and velocity of sound in tissue is 1500 meter per second in tissue so this is part a this is part b so first let us solve part a wavelength is given by velocity divided by frequency because this is the equation for velocity of sound wave so velocity is 343 divided by the frequency and if you calculate you will get 7.62 time 10 to power minus 5 meter b uh, wavelength is again given by v divided by f here the velocity is 1500 in tissue divided by same frequency so we will get 3.34 3.33 time 10 to power minus 4 meter so these are the answer for part a and part b problem number 12 the pressure in the traveling sound wave is given by the equation delta p 1.5 pascal sin of pi 0.9 
zero zero meet per meter x minus three hundred fifteen per second into t. Find the pressure amplitude, b frequency, c wavelength, and the speed of wave. So we can write this equation in the general form. Delta p is equal to p m sine of pi k x minus omega t. So here k is a uh, wave number because omega is multiplied uh, by this whole term. So k will be equal to 0 0.900 pi per meter. This is the wave number, and this is the omega which is equal to 315 pi per second and this p m is a uh, pressure amplitude which is equal to 1.5 Pascal. So, this is the answer of A pressure amplitude it is already given in the equation. So, B we have to find the frequency f and the frequency is equal to omega divided by 2 pi and we know that omega is 315 pi divided by 2 pi. So, pi pi cancel out if you multiply if you divide 2 by 315 you will get 158 hertz. So, this is the answer C we have to find the wavelength. So, wavelength is equal to 2 pi divided by wave number. So, we know wave number k which is 0 0.9 pi. So, you have to write here 0 0.9 pi 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 cancel out. 2 divided by 0 0.9 you will get 2.22 meter d you have to find the speed of wave which is equal to omega upon k. So, omega is given k is given if you calculate you will get 350 meter per second. So, this is the velocity. Uh, so, these are the answer of a b c d parts.